hey guys welcome to this tutorial series on design pattern so I have already covered the creation design pattern now I am going to discuss about the behavioral design pattern so let's get started so as we discussed creation design pattern was more about the creation of the object where we have discussed factory singleton builder prototype pattern how effectively we can create the object now in behavioral design pattern says the object interaction will be loose coupled loose coupled in the sense the objects are not in, uh, dependent on other objects it means there will be less interdependency between the objects and uh, whenever any modification or any change is required it will be done in less time so that's a loose coupled object so I'm going to discuss the chain of responsibility design pattern first this is very important design pattern and this design pattern I'm going to cover with a real world example and then I will be implementing this design pattern using Eclipse then discuss about the JDK implementation of that okay so chain of responsibility design pattern form a chain of objects to process request the chain objects in the chain will decide who will process next next request so this re reduce the loose coupling into the software design so just take any example here on the screen we have a loan a processing example so here customer will request for the loan and loan response loan officer will receive the request it check the loan and then it, it approve it then no loan manager will approve the request and then this process will end so in this loan processing applications uh, we will design in such a way that each object like a loan officer will know who will be with the next object to process the request so using this chain of responsible design pattern we can achieve this type of uh, processing so we can have many example like this like we have document management system where document will goes from one department to other than other so we can uh, design such application using this design pattern so let's check the implementation of this design pattern let's open the Eclipse so I already created a chain package here so let's create all our domains classes here so we will we'll, we will be having loan class so if you see our diagram we have loan class loan officer loan manager and customer okay so let's create a customer class okay customer so we will be having loan officer class okay let's create a new loan officer class and loan manager class so loan manager class will be our last in the stage so it should be loan manager okay so to perform this chain of responsibility here we will create a concrete concrete interface which will be having two obstruct methods to set the next chain and to process the request so let's do that so public it will set the chain so here let's pass the chain instance okay so it should be interface yeah it should be interface and here let's create one process function okay so yeah okay so let's implement this interface into our classes which are into the chain so first class is a customer class so let's implement all the interface here okay so we need to copy same thing into our 
loan manager and loan officer class so let's do that now in the loan manager class also we need to copy this okay so our basic design is now ready uh, so let's create some uh, parameters into loan class so let's say we have a string loan id okay so let's add setter and getter for this okay let's generate setter and getters okay let's select all click ok so this class is ready so let's check the customer class so here we need to create chain instance to set to the next chain so here we can say this dot chain equal to chain okay so next chain we are setting the object to the next process so here we let's say we have a boolean approve to approve the loan so that we will be checking into our loan uh, process method okay so if, if it is let's say if it is approve then we will be sending it to the next step so that is process likely call it the loan officer will call the loan manager so let's add this into loan officer okay so yeah so in loan manager the loan process is going to be end so we don't need to call this here okay and we also know don't need to set any chain here because loan manager is the last phase where we are where our loan is getting approved so we can directly print a message here so let's see congrats your loan is approved okay so so let's test it out uh, I think we are done with the design so in the customer class we have chain the where we are setting the chain we are setting it to the next level okay so once we set this chain to the loan officer this will call the loan officer process function so loan officer process function we will set this chain to loan manager and then it will check if it is approved then it will send it to the loan manager okay so let's test this test this let's create a test class let's say we have a chain test class and so first we need to create the loan instance let's say we have a loan called to new loan okay here we need to let's set id to loan set loan id let's say we have l123 okay so uh, if we see our customer class yeah we have a we don't have a setter and getter for approve so let's create setter and getters here as well okay let's select both okay so let's do that for loan officer as well okay so let's so setter and getters select both click ok and for loan manager as well we need to get the certain getter for approve variable okay in customer let's check the customer class customer class we don't need to approve because customer is just sending a request to loan officer so we don't need to approve it here so it, 
we'll just send the request to next chain okay so now let's create a customer object see we have a customer c1 equal to new customer okay so c1 dot set we need to set the next chain so let's say we have new or oh, we need to create a loan officer first officer equal to new loan officer okay so for loan officer we need to set is a poor first so let's say it is a true okay and then for customer we can set this next chain as an officer okay and we can say c1 dot process so process will call the loan officer so now we need to create loan manager so, okay let's create a loan manager here should be a manager okay loan manager so let's say manager should approve the loan and let's call the manager dot process method so for officer also we need to set into the chain so that we can do here okay so set set chain that is our manager so we need to set this at the first so let's test it out okay so yeah it is saying the loan is approved okay so yep it is working what it is calling it two times so we don't need to call this one because we are calling c1 dot process so it will call whole flow so let's check this now yeah it is working so c1 dot process will call so c1 is a customer object it will call this process method so process method we are setting chain if we see our test class for c1 and let's check the c1 instance so c1 we are setting chain as office uh, loan office so this is loan office for loan office we are setting this true in loan office we are setting chain as manager and then it will in the flow it will comes to the manager process method and it will call it will approve the loan it's one example let's say if we have we have many example of such chain so we can use chain of responsibility pattern to do that otherwise we have to uh, we do have a lot of interdependency between the objects so using this approach there will be less interdependency and the code will be more readable and and we can easily understand the flow so let's talk about the jdk implementation for this design pattern so we have try catch block in jdk which is based upon the chain of responsibility design pattern so first it will check for the first catch block if it is the exception of the that block if it is not that first catch block it will check for the second catch block so using the chain it will uh, process the exception so that's the best example of the chain of responsibility pattern so that's all for about this design pattern in my next video i will cover other design pattern see you next video bye bye